Hey guys, welcome to Mark's TV. Today I just wanted to show you my Garmin Striker Vivid 9 SV and the waypoints feature that you get with the unit. So first things first is no matter uh, where we are in the unit, let's say we're on the main menu like we are now, if I was on my quick draw map, my traditional sonar, my clear view, side view, on a combo, whatever, we have this little waypoint button in the bottom right. Now, it's really simple. You can just press that button and it's gonna create a waypoint for exactly where you were at. Boom. It creates that waypoint. Now, it's gonna create that waypoint, it's gonna name it whatever waypoint, so it just named it like number 40. Um, and a map, which I did not click it, so boom. There we go. So we can edit that waypoint by pressing the check mark, um, and we got a few things here that we can change. Now, the name, it's gonna auto name it, so it made that first one I made 40, made this one 41, okay, whatever. I can change that and name it if I want to, whatever I wanna name it. Okay, the next thing that we have as a nice feature is the symbol that it's actually gonna appear on. Now, where is this gonna show up? This is gonna show up on your quick draw contour map, or even if you're not recording, it'll still show up on there um, relative to your position, even if you don't have a lake um, mapped. So, it gives us tons of different um, symbols that we can use. Um, it's gonna say, oh, hey, we wanna label the boat ramp. Okay, man, it seemed like a big deal. We got a bridge, uh, maybe a brush pile. Um, over here, we got a drop off, okay, if we wanted to label that. So it gives us all kinds of options. Now, some of these things, okay, like a boat ramp, okay, maybe, why would I wanna label that? Well, what I've come to notice is when you're fishing at night, you know, going back to the ramp, um, it's really nice to have this to follow your track back, but maybe you didn't have your unit on while you were going out to your spot or whatever. Well, you can see that boat ramp on your map and kind of navigate back to it that way. Um, even if you didn't have full quick draw contour or anything like that, it'd be a nice feature. Or if you just want to mark, you know, your fishing spots, you know, oh, mark that brush pile or that tree where I was, or that lay down that I was catching them all on. Um, so there's a lot of different symbols that you can do in here. Um, do it however you want. Um, it's also going to record the depth of water uh, that the transducer's seeing when you're pressing that button, as well as the water temperature um, when you're doing that as well. Provides you with a space to put a comment. If you want to say, oh, best fishing spot ever, I don't know. Uh, now, let's say um, you didn't actually want that waypoint in that position. Let's say you had coordinates. Boom, you could enter them here. Um, if you didn't have coordinates, if you just knew on your chart, you're like, oh, I want to go, um, it was when I was fishing over there. Well, I can you go to my chart, scroll over to that location on my quick draw map um, and see that. Or if I wanted to change it and use current position, maybe I was a little bit off from where I wanted to be, um, or you can enter a range in bearing. So that's kind of the options you're going to get um, with your waypoint. You can also delete it here. Um, now, let's say, oh, I accidentally made that waypoint number 40, and I don't actually want that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I can go down to my user data here. Um, it's gonna have your waypoints, tracks, routes, all that kind of stuff. So I'll just go to my waypoints, check mark. Uh, I randomly made a man overboard earlier when I was testing some. We can go ahead and delete that, okay? Do we wanna delete it? Yes, and I can delete number 40 as well um, because I was making that for fun. But you can kind of see I got some brush piles marked in here. Um, some different fish, maybe I caught a fish at that spot. Um, here recently I've been doing, uh, there's a tree underwater. Oh, there, I caught a three pound fish, the brush pile. So, you know, it's just kind of whatever you want. I flag some parts of the lake at home that I want to fish when I get there. So then I can go to those waypoints as well by entering them with their coordinates after looking at like Google Earth or something like that. Um, so I got all that kind of stuff in there. Um, here's also where you can look at your tracks and whatnot, but that's just kind of a quick deal of the waypoints with the Garmin Striker Vivid 9SV. If you guys have any questions, please let them know. Again, thank you so much for watching.